Hi, my name is Ann Lindgren. Uh, we're here at the in Dr. Marmarzadeh's lab at UCLA, and I'm a staff scientist in the lab, uh, which is a PhD position, and I work trying to discover treatments for human ovarian cancer. We're looking to find things that will work where chemotherapy hasn't worked, or things that are more gentle than chemotherapy, which can be fairly brutal for the patients. Um, the, some of the treatments we're looking at are more gentle and give a better quality of life. I'm originally from outside of the Boston area, uh, then spent time in college uh, outside of Philadelphia, then went to Chicago for graduate school, and then moved to Los Angeles. Both my parents were involved in the science field. Uh, my father was an earth science teacher in the eighth, for eighth, seventh and eighth graders, and my mother worked for a biotech company, uh, first in the lab and then later in more administrative duties. I'm a scientist basically because I never outgrew the childhood fascination with what was going on around me. All little kids are interested in bugs and rocks and things like that, and I just never really outgrew it. I never felt that I couldn't continue to explore the world around me. I'm doing it in a much more sophisticated fashion now, um, but still a lot of it is just love of finding out why something is happening. Uh, my day in the life can be very varied. Um, some days I'm actually going to the hospital to pick up patient samples. Uh, we analyze these samples to see how treatments would be effective against these. Uh, this is more effective than using just cell lines that have been around for decades. We'll actually take the tumors, process them down to individual single cells, and we have a method to freeze those cells uh, in a liquid nitrogen state. Um, so that we we'll, can wake them up at a later date and analyze them later. And I actually can also take those cells that have been frozen down, wake them up, and culture them uh, to be able to test different treatments on them. All of my previous experiences had been in more basic science. Um, I've worked with very, very small worms, I've worked with yeast, um, but basically each step in my career I've moved closer and closer to finding something that will actually have a relevant effect in patients. Um, and I'm, I'm actually enjoying really seeing how my work would be applicable to patients now. As a scientist, I work with many different people. Uh, within my own lab, we have discussions about science. We also have discussions about our life in general. Um, every morning we come in, ask how was your weekend, how was your day, um, we'll chat about our lives. And I also have friends in the lab, friends in neighboring labs. We have lunch together, we hang out on weekends. Um, it's a very collaborative experience. So we'd like to be able to take this treatment and figure out which patients this would be really useful for. Um, right now we're just in the screening phases, but hopefully soon we'll be able to bring this to a clinical trial where we'd be able to test a patient's cells and say, we believe this treatment would work very well for you and instead of your, your tumor decreasing and possibly coming back, we may be able to find a way to make their tumor go away and not come back.